Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All the praise is due to Allah I seek his forgiveness and I seek his guidance. Whomever Allah guides, nobody can lead astray. And whomever Allah leads astray, nobody can dare to guide. And I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the last prophet and messenger of Allah. My dear respected viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during those concluding minutes and seconds of Ramadan to bless all of the Muslim community everywhere in the world. I seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness for every person who fasted during the month of Ramadan. Every person who approached Allah with enthusiasm, rushing to his Lord, preparing himself and making himself ready for the pleasure of Allah and receiving his pleasure. My brothers, the month of Ramadan is the month of seeking the true rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the month which whose happiness is granted for the people who spend the nights making prayers. People spend the days making fasting, reciting the book of Allah, spending a charity generously and with his hospitality, caring about nothing but the pleasure of the Lord. People who submitted their faces in prostration, their bodies in bowing down, themselves for the Lord in sincerity, training themselves to reap his pleasure. Their emblem was the emblem of Moses alayhi salam. When he rushed into receiving Allah or meeting with Allah, so Allah asked him, Ma ajalak, who brought you first before your people, O Moses? And then he answered by saying, Wa ajiltu ilayka rabbi li tarda. I rushed into your pleasure, O oh my Lord, my intention is to please you. This is the intention of the people who had their necks freed from the hell fire. My brothers and my sisters, during the month of Ramadan, we touch it upon the mercy of Allah. And it is so difficult to drive yourself away or to deprive yourself out of that great mercy which afflicted all the Muslim community. We saw how the family were gathering together. The Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Qur'an wa-Siyam yashfa'ani lil-abdi yawm al-Qiyamah. The glorious Qur'an and fasting will come on the day of a judgment interceding on behalf of the slave. The Qur'an will say, Oh my Lord, I deprived him of too much sleeping in the night, so make me intercede on his behalf. And the fasting will say, I deprived him of thirst and I deprived him of food and drink and I made him thirst by day and I deprived him of the thing that he loved most. So make me intercede on his behalf. So Allah subhanahu will appoint those two acts of worship as true interceders on behalf of the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and my sisters, the road to Allah and the trip did not over. It is already started. 
and we, we should not actually give up what we are accustomed with, what we already started. We saw with our own eyes how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts our deeds. So the Muslim moves to another stage, this stage of happiness with what, we, what he achieved in his, in his Ramadan. Somebody may ask me, a person can be happy with what he did during the month of Ramadan? Yes, because the Prophet said, Al-Mu'minu man sarratu hasanatuh. The true believer is the person who is pleased with his good deeds. And, the, and if he, is, he feels sad about what he did or the sins that he made, he forgives Allah subhanahu wa He seeks Allah's forgiveness in this case. My brothers, this is the night of Eid, the feast the day of happiness and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said لِلصَّائِمِ فَرْحَتَانِ فَرْحَةٌ عِنْدَ فِطْرِهِ وَفَرْحَةٌ عِنْدَ مَا يَلْقَى رَبَّهِ The first joy, the fasting person had two joys. The first joy is when he breaks his fast. And the scholars interpreted it differently. So they said when a person breaks his fast every day during the month of Ramadan or when he breaks the fast in the feast and the other joy is when he meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah shows him the great rewards that he prepared for him generously in the Jannah. So those are the two types of joys. And when the Prophet ﷺ came to the Medina, he found the people celebrating two days. He said, now Allah has compensated you with two other blessed days. The day of fitr, breaking fast, and the day of sacrifice. There are specific acts that the Prophet ﷺ told to do when we are in the feast. And the first thing that we do when we go for the Fajr prayer, actually the Muslim, it is the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that the first thing that he does is to take a piece or to break his fast in the morning early before the prayer. What is the reason behind it? To take a date and then he breaks his fast. This is a kind of showing submission to his Lord. When he started the month of Ramadan, he submitted by the command of Allah. And now he is obliged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also to break his fast. So he responds because fasting during the month of Ramadan is something, during the day of feast, is something which is prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. So it is recommended to break the fast first. But during the Feast of Sacrifice, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is to delay it until you eat from the sacrificial animal that you offer. And then when the person is reported or it is actually suggested for him, or this is the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ to take a shower or to take a bath, a ritual bath. This is called the bath of feast because this is the Prophet ﷺ practice to clean himself. And also to apply the best perfume possible. And to take the best clothes which are available for him. Because the Prophet ﷺ, according to the authentic hadith, he took a cloak that he kept mainly for the day of Eid, according to the suggestion of Umar ibn al-Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. The person started saying takbir, which is according to the most authentic formula as, a person can make takbir in any form that he likes. But actually, the most accepted and preferred formula according, uh, f- formula according to the scholars is Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. Which may be translated as Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. There is no God but Allah. And the person should repeat it when he goes in his bath, when he goes in his road, when he rides, takes a ride or takes his car, when he shakes hands with the people, when he moves here. And this is one of the wisdoms that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the believers to mention his name after each single act of worship. So when a person finishes or when he commences fasting, it is recommended to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, this is the case of the people when they finish Hajj or pilgrimage, they need actually to raise their voices, praising Allah and making takbir and tasbih and tahmeed, making it audibly in front of everybody. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that every single stone, at every single place or every tree that uh, hears that voice, 
and they definitely make praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will repeat after the son of Adam and they will share tasbih and tahmeed with him. So it is recommended actually to say it audibly in front of any object that the person passes by. The stones, his house, when he knocks on the doors, when he opens the doors, he say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. This is a kind of making yourself a proud of Islam. Making and strengthening your belonging of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and belonging to his hizb, to his party, subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, when you have the deep feeling of gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he helped you to fast and to recite the Quran and to make the acts of the charity, you pronounce it loudly in front of everybody and you become proud of it. And it is the sunnah or it is recommended sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, to offer the prayer of feast in jama'ah, in congregation. Because it is, and the people actually, they make the prayers first and it is followed by two speeches and the formula of the prayer is well known and the person makes it after the sun sets. It is actually after 12 minutes or 20 minutes after the sun sets. This is the tradition of the Prophet ﷺ. It is also recommended that the person does it in an open place. It's not recommended to make it in the masjid, except if it is raining or if it is extremely cold and the person can, cannot do it. But this is the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, to witness it amongst the people, to shake hands with them, to maintain your relationships with the people that you disavere them. Also to maintain your relationships with your kith and kin. You shake hands with the people, you receive them, you welcome them, and the dua or you make a congr- congratulations for them, like the congr- congratulation which is mostly actually repeated, which is taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us and from you. This is the established norm of the Prophet ﷺ. When a person goes back, he goes from a different route, from a different road, so that he knows better, more people, and he shakes hands with them, and he feels comfort, comfort and tranquility and peace of mind. The day of Eid is not a day of seeking unlawful pleasures, by looking, going here and there, with, um, as you, you know, that some of the people, they challenge Allah through the sins, and committing those sins. The day of Eid is showing the pleasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the avenues that Allah made lawful and made permitted. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from me and from you, from all the Muslims and to free all of our necks during the month of Ramadan and to accept the whole deeds that we made during the month of Ramadan. Peace be upon all of you and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.